Welcome. Today we are going to be making soap presents. So you can see that I have already made some long rectangle or I guess square uh, embeds. I am using the mold from Brambleberry. I have a cheese cutter and I am simply slicing the long rectangle embed into one inch cubes. Now you can do this in varying sizes. I typically do one inch or half an inch. It's again, there's not a right or a wrong, but this makes a nice square present. It's easy to do relatively little work. Just pour it in the mold, unmold it, and then cut it up. So that's part one make your base present. The next part is going to be using your extruder and soap dough and let's watch how I do that. Okay, today I am going to be making my little present soap embeds. So this is Again, it's not hard, it just has multiple elements. So you saw that I made my base, like the box part of the present, using my square tube mold. Once I made those, I cut them up into one inch and a couple half inch, so these will be smaller presents. I'll have two, um, two heights. Now I need to add the ribbon that I, and bow that I put on the box. So I'm going to, I already conditioned some soap dough, white soap dough. I've rolled it out, put it in the tube. Now I'm going to make, like I said, the ribbon. There are, the extruder set comes with three different rectangle pieces. You want the smallest one. That is the one that we are going to be using for this size present. If you were to make larger presents, like bigger boxes, these are again just one inch square, then you probably you might want to use those larger pieces. So I've put that on. So push that in. Now, you only want to extrude a little bit at a time. So what you're going to actually use, because again, you don't want this to dry out. You also really want to make sure your soap dough is well conditioned and that there aren't any little gaps or holes that you've really kind of got it all nice together in a solid tube. So when it pushes out, you don't have breaks because that will make this harder to do. So I'm going to zoom in and you can see I've extruded a piece so that's the end will get chopped and cleaned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put ribbon around both sides and then create a bow on top. So I will, I'm just trimming off this end so I get a nice clean start. I'm going to take my paintbrush, some distilled water, and just brush it on about two inches of length. And then I'm going to start on one side, put it down the middle, kind of gently press that on, go over to the next side, and then over to the third side and then trim that off. So that's the first part. Then, again, I will wet another portion, about inch and a half, two inches in length, and I'm going to attach it to the top middle, gently fold it down, cut it off, and then 
repeat on the other side. And trim it off. Okay. So now I have my present with ribbon packaging. You could leave it like this if you wanted. Um, I like to add a bow. So I'm going to take this and you want, I'm going to say it's about a little over an inch. Let me pull out the ruler. Okay, so that's an inch. So I'm going to take about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. Chop that off. And now I am going to fold this over to create a little top bow and fold this over and I just fold it a little too much. Let's see. Okay. Fold this side over. So I have this bow. Now you see that I haven't like I'm shaping it a little bit to get a little bit of a better shape. You don't, I tend to keep these pretty flat because, and this was actually a tad too long for what I wanted. Um, I'm going to redo this. But if you get this too high or too wide like this, this is going to cure, it's going to harden, it's going to be brittle, and it's going to break very easy. So I usually keep this hole no more than about that big. So again, I wasn't happy with this one. I cut it a little too long. So I did one and three quarters. We're gonna do one and a half this time, which might, okay. So you see, I've got them meeting in the middle. And I should go actually grab my tool. I'm just gently pushing down to seal it. Okay. So I need to go grab my tool because I'm not shaping this very well by hand. This is part of a nine piece plastic tool set that I have posted on other videos. I will put the link in it. But you see how this is just a little thin hook that will allow me to reach in here and just kind of shape that a little bit. Okay, not my best job. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take the paintbrush Dab a little water on the center and gently apply and I'm using, come on, get into focus, this end. I'm just going to push it down a little bit and there you have it, your cute little present. So, again, this piece that I extruded, it's already starting to get a little dry. So this is why I do not extrude a whole ton at a bunch. I just do a little bit that I'm going to use for a present or two, and then extrude a little more. So I'm doing the exact same thing here, but with the smaller little six inch present. So, taking it, cut that off. So, there's the small present. 
a shorter one I should say. It's not the same one inch square, it's just not as tall. This is about a tad too long. Okay. So again, kind of fold these over so they meet equally. And then go down. Take my paintbrush, put some water on. You'll notice that I put the bow, and I don't put it this way, I put it this way so it covers the seams so it looks cleaner. So put that on. Just kind of, oh, and I pushed too hard, guys. I broke it a little bit. Just gonna smooth that over. So you can see that got a little squished. I'm just gonna go in there with my tool and just open it just a tad. And yeah. There you have it. I think the smaller ones are a little harder to do. I like the one inch square best, but you can even do taller. Say you wanted to do a really tall one, you could do double that. It's There's just endless possibilities. You can do other shapes. You could do rectangle shapes. Like Same concept applies. So extrude some out. Going to trim off the end. Paint some water on it. 